In this video, we are back with another day in the life vlog, but this time I'm specifically trying to get back to my waking up at 5am routine and possibly give you some tips if you want to wake up at 5am too. Good morning. You know what? I have been trying to wake up at 5 a.m. for some time now because lately I've been waking up at like 5.30 to 6 a.m. which is too late for me, especially if you consider Fajr prayers. Well, there's nothing else to do than just force yourself to wake up at 5 a.m. to fix your sleep schedule. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just trying to immediately have things to do after I wake up so that I don't stay in bed and fall back asleep. Oh, and I find it helpful to like wake up with a fresh mind if I don't immediately check my phone after I wake up I usually wait until I finish my prayers at least or maybe after I prepare my breakfast so I just check them while I'm eating or after I'm eating believe it or not I used to do this every single morning I might not exercise or work out but I always stretch or do some yoga and I think it might gonna help myself refresh in the morning if I want to try waking up early again Now for today's breakfast, I'm gonna make a chicken sandwich. I found this recipe accidentally when I had not much of ingredients for breakfast and I just kind of put them together and it turned out to be really good. It's easy, it's simple, it's good, but I'm not gonna lie, it's not exactly quick. So first of all, I'm gonna air fry the chicken. I'm gonna season it first. days when I don't drink coffee for like weeks but there are also days when I drink coffee every single morning and this is one of those days so I am gonna make a coffee now by the way I just realized that I've shown you how I make my coffee a lot in my videos but I've never really told you how I make my coffee so I am gonna do that right now first of all I'm gonna measure my coffee I'm using 10 grams of coffee beans I usually like Starbucks coffee bean but I also like to use this it's like a more affordable option it tastes good it makes me awake but it doesn't make me anxious because for someone who likes coffee I'm pretty sensitive about it and then I'm gonna grind this coffee I'm gonna set the level to medium If you don't have a grinder at home, it's fine because you can always ask the shop to do it for you. I like to use a French press, so I'm gonna pour this coffee into the French press and then I'm gonna pour 100 grams of hot water. for like around five minutes now in this glass i'm gonna put only three grams of brown sugar i either use brown sugar or no sugar at all for the milk i like to use a plant-based milk because i used to have a dairy allergy and i've kind of gotten used to it even though i don't have my allergies now and i like to use oat milk but now i have this almond milk and it's not plain it has a vanilla flavor so it kind of makes your coffee turn into something like vanilla latte which is my favorite now i'm gonna pour 150 grams of milk I was too focused on filming and then I accidentally poured too much milk, but that's okay. So good. You have to try this. If you don't have an air fryer, you can just pan sear the chicken. You know that you 
you've seen me clean up in my videos a lot either it is my room or well it's mostly my room <laughs> but that makes me think why don't i have a cleaning device it's gonna make cleaning up more fun and easy so this is what i got I got this cordless electric spin scrubber by Notel. I'm actually so excited for this. We are gonna unbox this product together. This product is a multifunctional cleaning device. I mean, just by looking at it, you can already tell that it is gonna be such a helpful product. And it actually is very easy to use. It was actually much quicker for me to learn how to use it than I expected. It definitely makes cleaning much easier, less tiring, more fun. Now, there are eight different types of brush that you get when you buy this product. So you can adjust it according to your needs. For example, you can use this soft sponge for cleaning the window or the mirror. And then after that, you can dry it up with this one. Or you can use this type of brush to clean up like the bathroom floor. And you also get two sizes of this brush. It is super convenient because with just one product, you can use it literally everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna explain to you how to use it so you can really know that it actually is very simple. So first of all, you need to get this one, the one with the handle for your hand to hold it. And then you want to take this one, put them together like this and then you can choose whatever scrub you want and you just need to stick them together and you get the full device to turn it on click this blue button and then you can see that the light will turn on and the scrub will start spinning there are two levels so if you click once again it will turn up to the higher level and then if you click once again it will turn off that simple and if you wonder what if I want to clean up some surfaces that cannot be reached if this is just a straight line like this well you can turn the angles on this thing what you need to do is click Click this side and slowly turn the angle and also if you want to reach for example higher surfaces you don't have to worry because you can extend the length of the stick the product came with an extension so I'm just gonna stick it here and this one here This product came with a charger. When you're charging, you can see that the lights will turn on and it will start blinking. But then when it stops blinking, then it means the battery is full. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about using the product. It is so easy, right? And this product is also surprisingly very lightweight. So holding it and bringing it everywhere while you're cleaning will not make you feel tired. You can check out their Instagram at notel.id. They also have official profiles on several marketplaces. So you can buy this product from those platforms it also came with an official warranty card that is valid for 12 months and there are 30 service centers all over indonesia don't forget to get yours i'm back and i don't know why my cheeks are so red this is my lunch i'm not gonna eat in my bedroom i just want to show you guys because it's kind of busy outside so i can't really talk outside right now but i got this rice bowl it has like fried chicken oh my god the smell of truffle it came with this mushroom sauce let's eat lunch well this is what the rest of my day or honestly most of my days look like I mostly sit behind my laptop to plan out stuff or editing or writing my personal reports, etc. At this point, whenever I want to hang out with my friends, I usually go out in the evening. And today we are going to this art gallery. If I'm being really honest, yes, we do want to see some of the arts made by talented local artists, but we also want to take aesthetic photos and it was worth it. This gallery is so pretty and we did get some amazing shots.
p.m. right now and I am ready for bed. I have never been a night owl relatively. I always sleep early but specifically when I'm trying to wake up earlier like at 5 a.m. or even 4 30 a.m. I always sleep even earlier than usual because at least I would have enough sleep like I don't have to cut my sleep time because I want to wake up earlier and yeah I'm literally gonna go to bed after this and I think it really helps that whenever you're going to bed you don't really just stay on your phone for too long because I don't know if it's just me but I tend to have a headache if I stay on my phone too much right before I go to bed and yeah I don't think I have any more tips to waking up early in the morning and I'm saying this right now because people tend to focus on the waking up part but not so much on the night before part because the night before really determines how you can wake up early or not so yeah i'm going to bed and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy it and i'll see you on my next one bye